Shut up and sit down. Good evening. I am Batman. Hey, Batman. I am Bat Girl, I guess. Woman? Yay. I don't know. So, tonight we are surprising each other with movie trailers that the other person has not seen. And you guys need to like, comment, and subscribe. All three of those things. And that will help us hugely. Well, I'm glad you asked. These drinks are called <laughs> turkey basters. What? <laughs> they're, they're called turkey basters. Okay. These are turkey basters. Because of the season. Happy Thanksgiving, <gasps> friends. Happy Thanksgiving. Um, it's not quite Thanksgiving. I don't know when this video is coming out, but they're still called turkey basters. Near enough. So what trailer do we have tonight? Tonight we have a trailer... I'm not sure when the movie comes out, Ooh. but it features a person that is quite complicated. Oh no. But the character is someone that we have a long history with. Huh. I have no idea who mm -hmm. that is. It has been a background character in several animated series that we've seen oh and they are bringing out a live action movie a live action movie okay well at I... some point in the future there's apparently it's 2021 but who knows okay so let's see so let's see michael I've known you since you were a child. Please! You have a gift. You always have. If there's an answer to your disease, you'll find it. <laughs> nice. We've been there. Years ago. <laughs> Why am I still here if not to fix this? blood disease and I'm running out of time. This could be my last chance. You're up to something, what is it? That's not exactly legal. I want to see you get hurt more than you already have. This would be a cure. What cost? Oh, nice. What's happening? I went from dying to feeling more alive than ever. Increased strength and speed. The ability to use echolocation. And an overpowering urge to consume blood. How far are we allowed to go? To fix something that's broken. Until the remedy. is worse than the disease. Oh no. <laughs> Michael Morbius. Got tired of doing the whole good guy thing, huh? What's up, Doc? <laughs> <laughs> You've just seen the trailer for Morbius. I what have do you think? seen the trailer. <laughs> um, yeah, I had no idea this was coming, and mm -hmm. I had no idea Michael Keaton was in it. Mm. Um, I also had no idea. Yeah, so I didn't know Morbius actually from the comics, um, 
I did know Mobius very, very well from a number of animated series, mm. but primarily X-Men, the animated series in the 90s. I, I always liked his character as somebody who was trying to do good and got kind of messed up by the research he was doing to try to save people, got kind of polluted by it and became this vampire type character. And if I remember rightly, he wasn't a classic vampire who bit people. He actually absorbed their plasma through his hands. If I remember rightly, it was like 28 years ago or something <laughs> when I last saw it. But yeah, he wasn't just a classic vampire type figure, you know, rip off of Dracula kind of a deal. He was kind of unique. And was, you know, a decent human being, despite being messed up and, you know, kind of buried in there was a decent human, which I really, really liked. So I'm intrigued to see this. I got to say, I'm a little sad that it's in the, um, I guess, what is it? The Sony Pictures Marvel yeah. side of things rather than the MCU. Mm. But having, you know, Michael Keaton as the vulture in it. I, you know, the yes. one thing I was thinking as we got towards the end was... You know, it's great having a an awesome, um, you know, anti-hero or whatever you would call Morbius, but you need something to compare that against. You can't just have that one character. Mm. Um, and I think the Vulture could be the villain that Morbius or, you know, some kind of counterpoint to Morbius's character. So oh, I'm, so like he's an anti-hero. Against the vulture, maybe that's what I'm wondering. Or you know, maybe the vulture tries to um, to use him for his own evil gains or something. Or maybe Michael Keaton, you know, becomes the good guy in this. Who knows? I mean, they could take it a number of different ways. That that wasn't the case in the comics, but you know, they they've got free reign to do whatever they want at this point. So, I am in summary really really intrigued. It says it comes out in summer. So yeah. Good. I, Which I, summer? We don't know. 2021? Yeah. 2022? 2022? Yeah, in Never Um No one knows. Nobody knows. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. What did you think of it? I thought it looked awesome. I really liked that. Um, I felt like Jared Leto kind of became a bit um, consumed by the Joker. And I liked it with this that he seemed to be a little bit more grounded in portraying a person rather than a caricature and so I'm kind of excited like just yeah it, did you think he looked like he was cosplaying Keanu Reeves so no no okay no no I didn't oh it, it felt like a more whole character that he was playing mm. and I, I really like that yeah I gotta say I was a million times more excited to see him in this than in the Snyder Cut. I just don't mm. care that yeah. he's in the Snyder Cut at all. Yeah, very much so. Well, yeah, I uh, I am all in on Morbius at this point. It, it Compared to the other Marvel movies, it looks, compared to them, like Hellstrom looks compared to, you know, the Disney Plus Marvel series. Yeah. You know, it looks darker. It looks very kind of warped and disturbed. Mm. Lots of kind of mental stuff in there as well. Lots of mind play. Um, I Yeah, and it looks like it could be really, really adult. A lot like Venom, actually. I guess Venom was yeah. that kind of movie as well. Which not everybody liked it, but it, it found a new audience that uh, the Marvel movies weren't hitting. So... Mm. Uh, Maybe this will do the same, but uh, and I kind of feel like it's got. It looks like it just tells his origin story as well. Mm. It doesn't look like you need to know a ton about Morbius going into this, um, which is great. Like I, I'd rather see a character really fleshed out, and then maybe they take it further to to something else. You know, do some crossover thing as a sequel or something. Yeah, maybe I Venom. Mean. Let there be carnage. We'll have Morbius oh, in it. Yes, <gasps> I really like how rounded it seemed. Yeah. So tune in tomorrow to find out more about what we think about stuff. Hmm. Because next time we're going to be talking about stuff. <laughs> so unlike the people who created Morbius, we are not giving you a vague deadline because you will see us tomorrow on Drunk Trailer Ambush because we are reliable. Peace out, nerds. <laughs> Shut up. Shut up.
and sit down.